all right, wonderful people. All right, great people. Why this is not coming up? Let me check. Um, All right, wonderful people. I don't know what is going on. Yes, all right, wonderful people. Um, yes, I'm live now, but let me just see something because um, I supposed to be um, very quick one, very quick one, very very quick one. Why? I don't even understand. Just uh, give me some minute. Just give me some minute, great people. I'm trying to connect uh, some other platform that is available to me, but um, that is something that I want to see now. Um, because I have to connect it, but uh, uh, the thing supposed to connect automatically, supposed to connect, but I don't know what is going on. Um, I'm going to be there in just a minute, please. What is going on? What is going on here? What is going on here? What is going on here? Everything in my side is seizing. Why? All right, wonderful people. I'm just trying to do something. You are going to give me some time. I hope, okay, I think I'm getting there. Marzi, 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 are you around, please? Marzi, please connect me to other place for me. Please, I don't know what is going on over here for me. I'm live now, please. I don't know if you can. Yeah, connect me now. It's okay, I'm just, uh, just connect, please, please. Thank you. right wonderful people i will be there in some minutes um this is going to be a a very quick broadcast um i greet you all once again today great people um you people already know the reason why we're here um ipob media campaign continues uh mazim nambikano is a prisoner of conscience and um i greet you all as you people are joining me god gift Obaze, thank you, my sister. Uh, Eli Huron, you are welcome. Um, I want you people, as you are coming in, please uh, don't endeavor. Endeavor to share and make sure you invite your friends. This is going to be a very quick one. I want to greet every one of you. I'm not going to waste much of your time because um, you have already come in this uh, stage. And um, I have to do what I have to do. And uh, I know, of course, it's been a long time. I never because of uh, 
my computer, I have a problem with my computer and I have to fix some things. That is why. And I, of course, I keep on uh, pushing a short videos at the same time, uh, you know, over here. It's changing of weather and uh, it's changing of weather. I'm having a, uh, a running nose, uh, but it does not matter. I must continue. Uh, so uh, great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. I greet you all once again. Uh, in the name of Chukwu Kikabi Amapurimi Henene, I salute you all and I salute uh, the leadership. Uh, you know, the doors are wise. Uh, we keep on saying this, but our people will not understand. I have some videos to show my people today so that you will begin to understand that everything we are saying is a gospel. And um, this is how it is, because uh, if you don't know, you wouldn't know. And a lot of them today are running their mouth. Uh, they have tired. And uh, you people have seen what they are saying today. And when we, are, we have been saying or telling our people what is going on, some of our people don't even understand what is going on. And now, before I will continue, uh, let me introduce myself. Like I said, I have no time. This is, going, this is a very quick and uh, emergency broadcast to just to update our people what happens. But let me introduce myself first. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, Lovers of freedom, great people all over the world, you are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nambi Okuchukukano. Here I am, I always set the record straight. I don't care who you are, your position or your qualification. We are here to set the record straight. Now you understand what I'm saying. Mazin Nambi Kano remains the prisoner of conscience and he must be released. Now the dead Bugarian, the impersonator, the mask wearer have left. He have went back to Daura, so you don't know. Now he is in Daura, as I'm speaking to you now. Now he's in Daura. Because your president-elect said that he will not be in Nigeria because they know all these things. That is why sometimes when I'm telling you the kind of dirty game, we Biafran people, especially the Igbo extraction, they are learning, they are learners. I don't know who, what is in their mind. They knew that Bugatti died in 2017 and was buried in Saudi Arabia. But they couldn't say anything. I remember when that, uh, that man called Roger Saboga Osa, he came out. He began to say that, uh, he began to say that, uh, um, what they call it, that if he said what he knows, that Nigeria will collapse. Instead of him to stick in what he know, he did not. Let me prove it to you people for, so that you will understand that Tinubu know his game very well. That is why Tinubu succeeded to being your president today. Because he keep the secret. And he always maintained the secret. Tinubu knows that Bugari have died. Tinubu knows that quite right, 101%. If, I, if there is something like 110%, Tinubu knows that Bugari have died. And he cut a deal with them. I will allow you, the Kabas, to continue with your dead Bugari. Exactly what they want to do at death of uh, the Yaradua, the late Yaradua, before our sister. Because that is the real uh, Biafran people we are talking about. She came out and speak up. No, we can't condone this evil. Jonathan must enter there. But because that Tinubu stick on that issue of dead Bugari, that is why he be able to become their president today. Because they cut a deal. You will keep the secret. When time comes, we will allow you. Remember that Fulani is they like to play people. When this election started, they wanted to throw Tinubu away. But Tinubu went back and tell them, listen to me. I am not that kind of evil people you are seeing. I am not that kind of people that they don't have the boss and gods to stand on their words. I am not that kind of, uh, that all these demented species that they have already restricted from our land. Well, I am not like them. Because Tinubu himself have made himself who he is. He have already have his own kaba. He have his own military from Yoruba extraction. So he be able to bring their head together. Tell them, listen, see what is going to happen. I know that Fulani never stands on their words. And they're always trying to deceive people. Tinubu said that I'm going to wait for you people. You think that you know better. I know more than you people. That is why... After then, Tinubu gathers his own people. 
when this election, the primary election, they want to push uh, Tinubu out. Tinubu just wrote an article. If I, if you people doubt or you people don't want to respect me, I'm going to destroy Nigeria. What happened? They brought him out. They gave him primary election. Even though they, they, there's no vote, they make him the candidate. This is how to keep a secret. We Biafran people, we lack that secret to keep on, I mean to keep secret. Because we don't believe in ourselves. We are not one people. That is why we are in this mess that we are today. Roger Sabao Sakro Gabaneno, Devu Mahana Kom, Okezi Bazana Bagari Kampuram. So Rudo have entered now. The same thing that is happening. The new governor of uh, Abia State, the other one now is inviting a man that have killed and maimed and destruction of souls and properties of our people in our land during 1967 to 1970. And they have been killing us beyond, which is 1945. Now you understand what I'm saying? Which is Goan. They are inviting it in our land. Small time people will be talking about karma. There is nothing like karma. Karma exists in human beings. Now, I want us to just listen to Mazen Nambi Okuchukukano before I will continue so quick because I'm not going to waste much of your time. At least I would like to take one hour from here. Only one hour or one hour, 20 minutes. I'm going to be done. Listen to what Mazen Nambi Kano said. Pay attention. Pay attention, please. Pay attention. Pay attention, please. Because if Irima is on the run. And anybody from today, if we find you in the diaspora aiding or abetting any sector, any group on the ground back home, you will also be in trouble. Because only one source, only one central command is allowed. We are under one command, not multiple commands, only one. Only one. If you want to help ESN, contact our sister. Contact the people that will release their telephone numbers. Not every idiot coming out to fundraise for us. We don't want you to. Are you, are you, get to are you hearing it now? Are you hearing it now that Ibirima was just out there deceiving you people, collecting money from you people? I don't want to bring his voice here. Remember that this man told you people, that idiot in Finland, that Nikon Pool, inconsequential that we have already deleted. We have deleted him, so you don't know. We have restricted him, he's nobody today. Now he's begging and calling for people to come around. Now you understand. They are no more in armed struggle. They are no more in armed struggle. They are now peaceful people. They are now collecting ambassadors here and there. They are, they, they are now government in exile, president, prime minister, ambassador. <laughs> Just imagine if Mazichi Gedozem or Mazichi Nasanwuri is the one that collecting this. Uh, this is stupid and nonsensical some group or known group nobody knows them they are they are they are they are not relevant just a cock and bull just a just known entities or unknown organization just come out and begin to give you a nonsense things that we don't know where they are coming from who knows them nobody knows them now Ibrima is a peaceful person and you people have forgotten that they have massacred and maimed the souls of our people in Biafra land to the extent that they might kill a pregnant woman and today is moving Scott, just roaming around like idiots. Now he has tired. No money coming in, like the way we did to finance. All of them, we have put them in the same basket. Listen to me. I don't lie about what I'm saying. When Mazen Namdekan comes out, there's a lot of things that are going to happen. We will begin to question because we are now here. Of course, before we don't want to dabble into this issue, but now we have put ourselves out there and you are seeing my face every single day. And you think that I'm going to be afraid of anybody. May God have mercy upon you people. We have come. Mazin Nandekan, when he will be free, he will love us. He will understand that those people that he has been looking for, they are now here to begin to ask questions. Concrete que The main question, not uh, to say onion do right on. No, we don't wear the no more, no more right on. The onion do unkai meta here. This idiot have to left, he have to leave us. Now. You begin to understand. Madam Finance and her group are now running helter scatter. They are now running helter scatter. There is no money coming. We told them that we are the indigenous people. We are the great people of Biafra. 
We never see anybody face before we join the struggle. We just see the face of Mazen Namdi Okuchukukano, who is preaching the gospel of redemption to our people so that we can be free from mental and physical slavery. Now you understand what I'm saying. They are now running. <laughs> and uh, you see, I want you people to understand this. We are not going to stop on this quest of self-determination because we have already made ourselves known. Are you getting the point? Are you getting the point? Go and hear Madam Finance. They are planning, they are planning, they are planning can never work. We are here. We are here. We are not afraid of anybody. That is why we are here. And we are not going to allow any of them to succeed by stolen from us. Ibn have finished stolen from you people. Now he's pleading. Taking ambassadors, telling you that we're supposed to join hands together. We shouldn't fight one another. But they told you people they were in armed struggle. So they are no more armed struggle. Do you know what it is when they're giving somebody a, a, a piece of amb ambassador piece or piece of uh, ambassador? I don't know what they call it. Do you know what it is? That you are on peaceful movement. Now they have turned themselves to a peaceful movement. Election have come and gone. No more payment. And some promises they promised them that when election will come and gone, when they were those people will win the election, uh, as they have won it now. They promised them, but they don't know that it's only on bay mouth. They deceive them. Zoom map out 620 something billions of dollars and nairas and pounds to stop IPOB. But we are still here waxing. Now, do you understand? There is a many of Mazen Namdekana out there. Do you understand that now? There is a lot of people. You see, Mazen Namdekana, we appreciate him. We cherish him so much because he is the leader. But there's a lot of people that are radical. Mazen Namdekan is a peaceful man who, if you people don't know, I am telling you people the truth. Mazen Namdekan is pure water. Ezibo Mado, Mazen Namdekan Adoro. Listen to me. If I am in position of Mazen Namdekan, <laughs> I'm telling you, if Reha in Emeha, sorry, my people, I'm having a, a ruddy nose, you know, the weather is changing. It's a flu. The weather is changing. If you are living in Europe, you understand what I'm saying. Small time now, Master Prophet, that is why our brother, our lovely brother, a man that have contributed his own quota on this Piafran restoration project, and we are not going to forget about him. Prince, Austrian man page, the idiot here in Germany, said that he's the one that killed him. Just imagine the nonsensical and the way the primitive and dark ages of black people. That is why this man will claim that he killed him. He never killed the hands that are holding the Mazen Namdekan. He never went there and killed Malami, the Antony General of Idiot on that, in that contraption. He never went there and killed him. He just, you know, parading himself, talking all sort of rubbish from his mouth. The same thing the day that I will, I will, I will die. Then some people will also come and claim it, that uh, 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 I'm the one that killed him. But you have forgotten that in this life that we are, I always tell my people this. Three things is involved. Three things is involved. Man will seek and grow old and die. Listen to me. There is no how you will live on this earth forever. It can never happen. But the legacy that you left when you are gone is what we will keep on remembering. Like what we are doing today on our brother Austrian man. May his soul rest in peace. May Chukwo Kikabiyama accept his soul. He have tried. He have done his best. But only one thing that we can never conquer in this earth is life. You can never conquer life. That is why Bugatti died in London Hospital. Upon all the whole money they spent on this idiot. Now they brought you a mask we are. And you are there parading yourself. You don't even know what is going on. Now are you getting my point? Eberima double into our system. The central command. And Mazen Namikano said, this is our structure. Don't double into that our structure. But unfortunately, he doubled into it. Because there's a lot of people projecting him from America. 
those people in America, we are going to deal with them. They are the, the root of our problem. As I'm speaking to you people today, and though be himself, carry himself, come. But I something I want to ship here because I have some video to show our people. But I just want to use this thing as my preamble. I am back again on IPOB media campaign. It continues on free Mazen Nandi Okuchukukan. And he is a prisoner of conscience fighting for survival. Now you understand. Okay. I want you people to understand that the doors are wise. And who said that we are not united? Who says so? Who said that Biafran people are not united? I want you, uh, all of those of you that observed the seat at home, you see it that Biafran land was locked and key. That to show you that we are still on this matter of Biafran restoration project. And we are not going to stop. Now you understand. We are united. We don't have division. There is no factions of IPOB. We stand in one central command. And we have only one leader. But on absence of our leader, Mazi Shike Dozem is the one in charge. Let me introduce myself. I've forgotten. All right, wonderful people. I still remember Mazo Kenna Okechuk, known as the Biafran Child in Washineke, the general. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB on that chain of command. Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano is the highest authority and the highest commander on this Biafran restoration. But now, as he stands, Mazishike Dozem is the one in charge. And everything that he says goes. One need is here, Piero. Very, very soon we are going to start <laughs> struggle. You know, we are still on creating awareness. He's still moving. We are still, because our, most of our people are daft in school. They are wicked species. Our people are so wicked. That is why they don't know what is wrong with them. They don't even, they can't even identify their own problem. But we are trying to open their eyes and speak for them. Because first, they don't have a voice. Second, they don't even know their problem. Third, they don't know the root of what is holding them down. Now you understand. We are IPOB. Under the leadership of Mazin Namdekanu DOS. They are wise. You know that. Now let me tell you people something about P2B before I begin to show you people video. You see OB, OB is, OB double into Biafran Restoration Project. OB know what he's doing, but there's something I want to tell our people today. I want you to keep that in your mind. OB came to interrupt what we're doing. But do you know the good about this OB movement and obedient movement? is to show our people this thing that we have been saying from the day one. I know a lot of people understand that we are in trouble. We be from people, we are in trouble. We are slaves in that contraction. But some of you won't believe it. You will say, eh, but I'm moving freely. Eh, I'm doing my business. Eh, this and that. But they are coming every single day, killing you people, and nobody is coming for your rescue. So what makes you a free man? You are not free. You are in the in, in, you are in bondage, including me. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we 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 don't, we don't shy away from reality. We always face reality. That is why I always include myself, so that you will not say that the Abraham child is saying you this. You no no. We don't do that. There is something about this OB movement, and that is why I'm calling my people that they should wake up now. We have been saying that we have been marginalized, marginalized in that contraption. We are fifth or tenth citizen if something like that happen, is, is happening. We are tenth citizen. We have been telling our people to wake up from their slumber and join this Biafra movement. A lot of our people left Biafra movement. They joined P2B. We told P2B, come back. We said no. He's in the court now. He's still going to court. <laughs> now you understand. But there is a good thing about it. This thing that happens to P2B are now have showed our wicked species because our people are evil. It have showed them there is no how you are going to dispute it again. 
you can never argue on this one now. He have opened our eyes. Some of you that want to learn. Because the stupidity of our people and idiocy in us won't even allow us to understand what is happening to our own people. But this OB movement have opened a lot of people's eyes. That is my own thinking. Because if I am not in this movement before, Biafran Restoration, by this thing that happens to be, of course I will learn. That is when I will understand that we are nobody in that Nigeria. Obi won the election, isn't it? Did he there? No. Just imagine that we have been in this contraption for over 60 something years. An Igbo man never become a president. The time that they're supposed to give the Igbo man or Biafran people, let me put it that way, uh, to become their president, they deny them. That too, this is the opening eye for all of us to understand that we are not part of Nigeria. And this thing that happens to us by Obi coming out, I love it. At the same time, I don't like it because Obi distracted our people. But it's also applause to us so that those gullible people that are still having double mind because our people who follow their legacy in Nigeria some leg is in Biafra. They are just there roaming like a, 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 somebody roaming in wilderness. They don't know where to stand. But this thing that Obi came, I believe it will open the eyes of our people. That is the good thing about this obedient movement that I pick among all these things that is happening, among all these shenanigans, that Obi now supposed to begin to understand. And those Igbo people, I'm not talking about the, our representatives. I'm not talking about the governors or all these stupid non-entities that knows nothing, that has no boss or gods, that Fulani are using them playing ping pong. I'm not talking about them. I'm just talking about the common citizens. By now, you're supposed to begin to understand. By now, nobody's supposed to begin to teach you now. You're supposed to now by yourself as somebody that have common sense, of course the sense is not common, somebody that have ability to reason, by now you're supposed to stand and just close your eyes or go to the mirror and ask yourself, but Oga, this thing I'm following these people and nothing is coming. Now you have to shake. That is good thing about this obedient movement. Now, like I said, let me finish playing Mazen Namdekan. You hear what Mazen Namdekan said where we are today by fundraising like people who have no direction okay, for sense of purpose. Hey, Bedima, Simon. We are IPOB, we do things differently. Differently. We must learn yes. as the Ekumeku taught us. It was Ekumeku that funded Our people. ancestors. Ekumeku, mostly in Ahaba. Ah. Today they call it Kasaba. Ah, they, uh, they know. Uh, some of the idiots that say, oh, well, we are Nyama Yibo. All those fools. All those fools. Ekumeku was formed by people from Harajuku. Seven sons from Harajuku. From his work, mostly. He's still went to Anioma. He's still to go fail to go and fight the British. Do you understand that very clearly? How, how would they know? Did they know the their history? was so secretive that the British became frightened. That is the essence and purpose of ESN. We must go back to it. Secrecy is key. Secrecy. Mind you that careless talk cost a lot of That is why I tell you the reason why Tinubu become your president is because of secrecy nothing else a lot of biafran people knew before tinubu that Bugari have died instead of them to come together and plan well and bring out a man that will stand in front whenever you mess up we mess up everything secrecy is the key and when mazin namikan will be out we are now going to go on secrecy no more ranting or no more shouting. You know, they say that we are ranting. All those things will stop. We go in secrecy. Now they will understand that we have come. And this is how it will be. I don't lie. If we have secrecy and we have machineries in place, you see all these shenanigans that's packing up from here and there. Ebirima have done his own. Now he's blaming the, his followers. You see, that is something that I'm telling you. Now he finished, he's blaming his followers. And now he have already Ogubago. Very soon now you will not see him no more. 
another idiot, another bumbling and stark illiterate will come up again and begin to deceive our people. Like now, let me give you people an example what is going to happen now. Asit Birima is, you know, going down. The other one they call Dead Stone and his cabas are now coming out, coming up. Because I see that Dead Stone saying that you people should begin to contribute, that they are going to keep your money. That is why you see I hate black people with passion, with their stupidity. You see me, there is something about me. I will die in what I believe. You see this IPOB, Mazen Mambicano DOS. Here I will die. If you like, oh, let them do good. Oh. If you like, oh, they are leading us to hellfire. fire. Um, you see, I stick in what I believe. And that is something that black people are supposed to learn. Now, since the two years they adopted our leader, just imagine from Omoakata to Idu, from Idu to Biafra, not to, Biafra is not going to come again. And I want you people to know how many of them have left that is something about our people I don't understand. Now, when we have been saying that Eberima is evil, living stone that was, dead stone that was looking for, for opportunity to have, I don't know what, just to have a position, we are telling these people. Now, why, why I'm so angry about these people? They're supposed to also stick on that. If they are dying, if Eberima is killing them, they're supposed to stick on that because that is what the mess you put yourself into because we have been telling you people but you don't want to listen where is osino konkwa osino konkwa is my boy go and ask him i don't lie where is osino konkwa today he just came out and began to yap even common position he did not receive even though desk desk cleaner desk cleaner he did not want the one they call Ken Dremon, Ken Dremon, Kogeri, that lives here in Germany. Where is that one that brought propaganda here and there? Saying Mazishinasa, Njue Chobi Akobia protest one day can Piawa Yisi. But I couldn't see him since he started all this is nonsensical propaganda, lies, deceit from pit of hell. I never see this guy again. Where are they? Ask your question that way. Like I said, I don't lie about it. Osin Okonkwo. Is my boy. Go and ask him. Go and ask him. He has said it in his broadcast many, many times. I am the one through my message. Us no Konko join this struggle. He has said it time without number. And whenever he comes on his broadcast, he must praise me. Because I have done a lot of good work in this Biafran restoration project. I know I'm not hiding my face. My face has been here up to 10 years broadcasting. Fearless before of my enemy. Because Biafra have, we must come. And this is the path that I have already chosen. And we always face reality. It minimizes on the run. Now, let me show you people why Nigeria can never be good. By Barista. Our Sam Osakome. You people should see. <laughs> Hi. Oh, who did this to us? Who did this to us? Oh, Jugo did it. Nah, eh. Madam, no Katapano Ho. That is kind of thing we are, we are facing here. This is Sam Osakume. Listen to what he did. Listen to what uh, the mass wearer did. A man that is going to leave office, he has already left office. And when this thing happens, it was just a two days for him to left office. Do you know what they said? They said that uh, as far as uh, he can, uh, uh, the, 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 the mass wearer, no, let me put it in this way. The cabas, they have right to stole money under 24 hours till they, you see, they will keep on stolen money till that hour clock zero, zero, zero. It does not matter you want to leave in two minutes. As far as it's not zero, zero hour, you can gather as much as you can. There is nothing. Are you now seeing how that how these people are, you know, putting you in more poverty? That is the reason why you can never have good road. That is the reason why you can never have good water. That is the reason why there, there will never be infrastructure. 
No hospital in that contraption. They are leaving. Tinubu is in France now. Probably very soon he will be gone. And they will begin to bring somebody to impersonate him. This is how it is. Nigeria is a jungle. And there is nothing you can do about it. They have stolen. Now let us see what Sam said. Under three days for them to go away from the office. Wait. Listen to this. Two weeks ago. Yes. The president went to the Senate. Yes. The National Assembly. I said I want to borrow. Yes. Eight hundred million dollars. Eight hundred million dollars. Who has calculated there? Eight hundred million times seven hundred and sixty. Okay. Can somebody do that? Eight hundred million. Calculation. Eight hundred. They put six zero. Yes. Times seven six zero. Yes. That is what the Buhari administration yes. told the Senate two weeks ago. And they approved it. Said, Mr. Yes, Senate. Mr. Yes, sir. Senate said, oh, approved. Approved. To do what with that money? Uh, are you asking me? In the uh, twilight uh, uh, S-A-N. of your going, <laughs> they have just ap ap uh, approved over 400 billion. Billion. They said payment of judgment debts. No, bring calculation. judgment creditors. We need a calculation. Have you not seen the judgment creditors in the last eight years? These are parting gifts for the boys. Okay. Nobody is deceived. If everybody is, I am not. Okay. Then the same president yes. went to the Senate three weeks ago. I said, we want to borrow. Yeah, thank Calculate you. Calculate on how Do you know how much that is? How much? $800 million. $800 million. Is $608 billion. $608 billion. $608 billion. Naira. Are you listening? With that amount, every state of the 36 states in Nigeria can have a first class hospital Hi. for oh. the equipment that will never allow any Nigerian to, to leave the shores for treatment abroad. Are you listening? Do you hear me? No. I Are don't. you hearing me? The same federal government three weeks ago yes. went to the city and said, give us 22.7 trillion Hi. naira Hi. as oh. ways and means loans, ways and means, 22.7 trillion oh. naira. I thought another government <laughs> is supposed to come in on the 29th of May. Are you me? Is today not 26? Uh, yes. Abi? Yes. Is it not on Monday? Yes. So, haven't borrowed money <laughs> for our generations yet on bond. Uh -huh. Haven't sold our yesterday. <coughs> haven't mortgaged our today. Why are you again selling our tomorrow? Why are you borrowing? What do you mean by ways and means? 22.7 trillion naira. Okay. Wait for it. It's not yet ended. It's not yet ended. On again, two weeks ago, yes, the federal government again got approval yes. from the National Assembly yeah. to borrow 819.54 billion naira. They call it domestic loan hey. to fix inf infrastructure. Oh. Domestic loan oh. to fix infrastructure. To Which fix infrastructure? It. Which infrastructure? When are you going to fix it? I thought you are going in the next few days. Yes. You see, I'm now. On a Omerun of Do you on do, do you now do you now get the point? Do you now get the point that, that you are in a mess? By the time that uh, <clears throat> Ahmed Tinubu will finish with you people, nothing will be left. You see, let me tell you people something. It's a time that we you know, we have been calling for peace. Not the one that Iberima is calling, you know, because Iberima, then they are into armed struggle. I'm not calling them. And now, where they are battling me now is on my Twitter, because Twitter is going well. It does not matter how many people are following you, but they are the people are retweeting my tweet. And I thank you all, those of you that are retweeting it. We are doing a great job in, tweet, in tweeting now, because of uh, the problem that I have with my computer. So I focus on tweeting and people are we are doing well there they are attacking me some people when i will put something they will tell me ah Marcy, this one you said now is good though uh, why can't you join Iberima with this your good voice if you join him i tell him you are you are you are you are evil our people are wicked species they don't know that if I want to join Iberima, it's not today. They have approached me for a long time. Not only him, even though there's some governors in that contraption called that neighborhood. They approached me to work for them. So you don't know about that. What I have is enough for me. We don't come to deceive. I saw my brother, Mitu, 
one a headache in America. Snapping picture with a with a American flag, British, and some people shaking them. <laughs> oh, Metu Chukwokike will bless you because you are like person like me. I know that we have that. You know, we can be able to deceive our people. I told you people, I am in that position to deceive our people, but I can't because I'm not going to gain anything. I will never gain anything by deceiving our people, by telling our people that I have met with so-so so person, met with so-so so person, but it's a lie. Of course, I can also meet them, discuss with them, because I know that it's not easy. Tell them the quest of Biafran Restoration Project. You discuss with them. Don't use it to begin to deceive our people. Don't use it to come and begin to stole from our people. And putting our people in a state of imagination by brainwashing them that you are giving them Biafra. And you know you can't do it. I have said it time with that number. Any day Biafran child come on a broadcast, broadcast, tell you people that I will give you Biafra. Two by two, one is I'm lying to you. I am I'm lying to you. Because for us to restore Biafra, it is a collective. That is why I will not tell you that I will give you Biafra. But we collective, we can now stand and tell you Biafra will come. And you are going to believe it. But one idiot somewhere, one non-entity is that thing telling you that, it, and they have come and gone. Now you understand. He's begging for funds. Telling if you are man, if you have money, come and give me money. We have stopped their money. That is the propaganda they brought. Now you have seen how much money Bugari, the dead Bugari and Kabas just took. In three days to left office, three days to left office, they have stolen billions, billions. Our generation, our unborn children, they, they, are, they, are, they have already put them in debt. <laughs> your generation, your third generation to come, they have put them already in debt. Very soon when the China will come, begin to take your seaport, airport, and the rest of your infrastructure, that idiotic and non-entity, tattered and battered uh, infrastructure you have there. You will say they have come home. You don't know that those people, Bugari have stolen. Now he's going to Nijeo. This money they have stolen, they are going to Nijeo. They are now, instead of them to put seaport in Biafra, they are putting it in Ondo. They are, oh my God. Let me show you people something. You know, we don't lie. We don't lie. You see them. You see them. Wait. Did I have this video? I think I have this video. You see, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, it's supposed to be here. I want to show you people this your those your man of uh, your man of God those that can lie now where this video is now let me go back I want you people to see how religious leaders have destroyed the minds of our people when we are telling you that the religious leaders are part of the part of the, the mess that we are into you don't even understand that it's true. Now you will see how they are giving you hope. They are giving you hope. They are telling you, eh, 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 God, I slept. I was in my dream. I, 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 you know, in prophetic. You know, they like to use prophetic. I was in prophetic dream. I was in a trance. Uh, I was hearing a voice. And this voice was so loud and clear. And they were telling me that this will change. The good will turn to bad. And this man, they will... Hi. Oh, religious leaders. You people are the major problem that we are facing. And we are going to chase every one of you up there down. You people, especially all these fanatical, all these extremists of religions in our life all these bigots especially christianity we are going to chase them they so lie they can lie they can lie they are talking about subsidy now isn't it <laughs> now let me bring you this thing what's your prayer your 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 your, your pastor said am i lying on may 26 yes 
Lord told me. Time. No, no, wait, wait, idiot. Lord told you. Wait, let us go back. He said, I'm with you. Lord told him. Lord told him. Lord told him. Not me to tell him. God is going to make a statement. Yes. A statement. Yes. Listen to me. Okay. God is going to make a statement that we favor the Labour Party. Yes. And PDP. Yes. That statement yes. will make the inauguration to become ceremonial. Hey. So oh. next May 26. Hallelujah. We are going to hear a yes. statement from God. Those that hate reading, they will rejoice hey. on May 26. Oh, for what? Whether you believe. Uh -huh. or you don't believe, yes. you will see it. God has spoken. It will come to pass. God has spoken. On May 26, Six, yes. the Lord told, me Lord told me specifically that God is going to make a statement. Yes. A statement. Yes. Listen to me. Uh -huh. God is going to make a statement that we favor the Labour Party and PDP. That statement will make the inauguration to become ceremonial. So this May 26, we are going to hear a statement from God. Those that hate reading, they will rejoice on May 26. Whether you believe or you don't No, 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 no. Now, now, have you, now have you listened to it? Let me bring a counter video of this thing that this idiot said. You see the reason why we are saying that all these religious leaders they are the highest contributor on this brainwashing and causing problem in our land. Now you understand it. He said, God told me that on that day they are going to sworn Tinubu in. It will be a miracle. And what happens today? And some of his congregation can never hold this man. Ask him or go away to, but you remember you told us something like this. What happened? They won't because they are afraid. They are all cowards. I don't blame our people. Sometimes our people know what is going on, but there is no solution. That is why you see sometimes you see some of our people going to church, praying for healing, going for church for healing. They know that they will never be healed there, but there is no opportunity. They say, okay, what can I do? Let me kukuma go there and die. If there is infrastructure like a hospital everywhere, standard one, you can never see their leg there. They know what to do. They know where to go. But there is no help, no hope. And when they are going to that church for the prayer, they are hoping that somebody can just, you know, step up on their issue and help them. But unfortunately, nobody comes. Then we die there, drinking olive oil and pure water as a holy water. Now you understand what I'm saying. Hey, let me bring this one so because I don't lie. Now you see the counter of that. <laughs> you know, we don't lie. He said Obi will become the president. Where is Obi today? He's running. Obi is on the run. Let me bring it because we don't lie. So you will understand that. Um, um, where is this video? Let me bring it from here. Okay. It must be here. He must be here. Where is this court case now? I think he's uh, okay. I think he's in my uh, in my tele Telegram. Let me go to Telegram. But what is this now? I think yeah. Wait. Yes. Yes, I have it. Now, pay attention to what the lawyer of Obi said. And uh, I hope you haven't forgotten because there is something wrong with our own people. Our people cannot absorb. Our people cannot always keep things in their mind. Our people are just 15 minutes memory. That is what is operating in our minds and our thinking faculty. That is why you see Mazen Nambi can always call upon the black race that he don't know what is wrong with them. There's a lot of things that is happening today in our land that aren't supposed to be happening. 
Just imagine they killed a pregnant woman, a Billy McKill. It have already been for people have already forgotten about it. People have already forgotten about it. Mazen Namde cannot come out and told you people that Nigeria has no mequatarism. is one of those people that also put us in this mess. The same thing obedient came, Obi is a second Zik. Obi is a second Zik. Like I said, that is a good thing about this obedient movement. That our people now are supposed to understand that everything that we have been saying is a gospel. That is a good thing about this obedient movement. And Obi himself have seen it, Kuru Kuru. And those obedient and Obi that, they have seen it, Kuru Kuru. It's not something that we are going to begin to explain again. It have Omigo have Vunana. That is good thing about it. But I'm telling you that Peter Obi is second Zeke. He came to begin to distract and brainwash and trying to turn the clockwise, telling our people that things can be changed. In that contraption called Damile Buzu, there is no man's land. A mainstream business of British people, you want to change things. You have forgotten the hand that make the country, and you want to change things. And you think that people will allow you. We have told them about the lawmakers. We have told them about the House of Senate, representatives, those that are going to vote when any issue come up. OB is there now, Boyale. Is it not people that are going to raise hand and say, yes, we support this? How many people OB have? We told them that OB don't have structure. OB don't have structure. Forget ranting on social media. All this, he lay, be no, he do not sense to idiot that lens, they knows nothing. Now, Boyale can program. OB, I, we have heard this, oh. Hey, I've come up. I'm not in that, that kind of, uh, you know, illiteracy is a disease. Illiteracy is a disease because there is something like illiterate and illiteracy. Nkewood is big. They do people. People that has, they don't have thinking faculty. They don't, they don't have ability to reason. They are just noisemakers shouting on social media. Every place you see them, TV, TV, I say TV. Now, now let us hear the counterpart of uh, what happened after the 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 man of idiot man of dog spoke about how things we we turn around now pay attention it's my video i make it it went viral the video went viral i want you people to pay attention to this uh, court update and uh, this is about uh, obedience this is about the movement but i want you to pay attention and you are going to listen what is happening what you said well we were here on Wednesday. Yes. The court gave us yes. Wednesday as a day to come for our ruling. Okay. And, and what then happened? we were given the same information that the court was yes. attending the conference and that the ruling had been adjourned to today. So I take it that at the time they were adjourning to today, they already knew that they would be out of whatever conference they were going to have. So we're here back today, and yes. they're giving us the same excuse of the court the same excuse. attending a conference. Um, what we really happened? think that that is a fair way to treat us. You see, fair way to treat them. everybody has rights. I think the, the impression that as litigants, as people who approach the court who have no rights, we are absolutely at the mercy he of the system. Point. It's a very wrong one. Okay. Respect you get very respect. wrong one. You have to respect me as a litigant. Okay. Then I will respect you yes. as the judex. So is, there, is, if, is it any respect in Nigeria? We, what we see is that we have not been fairly treated. I have been in Abuja yes. for how long now? Nobody has asked me about my hotel bills. I practice from Lagos. Okay. If it wasn't going to right. you should have told me. You should have told me on Wednesday, Nigeria. I'll be back in my chambers in Lagos now. One Nigeria. But he asked me to come back today, only to get yes. the same excuse. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. Uh, you think it's not fair? And as far as I'm concerned, All right. we are, by the grace of God, going to do something about it. Uh, in, this, in, yes. in the sense that I think we need to sue. We need, we need, we need to bring it before the court so that you be examined. 
Uh, what we have lost, I mean, with the right that we sought is to restrain the swearing in. Okay, so, madam. by the court of city, yes. we've lost a, a great deal. That's right. That's right. So the other one is on the ground now. <laughs> hey, you know, if this... you came and gave a ruling that we don't have a right, yes. it will be understandable. Now you're okay, but this time seemingly, around. seemingly, seemingly, seemingly staying away from the court. But for one reason or the other, you cannot find the courage yes. to declare that right. So you are now trying to use absence from the court as a means of depriving me of that right. So I'm going to sue, you're going to pay. All right. Okay, we are, we are waiting. It. You pay for it. You are going to tell me why you left the court. Uh -huh. And we will fight it no, we to the Supreme fine. Court. <laughs> and maybe we will establish as Supreme a precedent Court. that Nigerians ought not to be treated in this fashion. Yes. With all due respect to the Over to have the greatest uh, respect. I think him for right. I said, you know, yes. this ruling, it will not take two minutes. That's right. It will not take two minutes to deliver the ruling and then get back to uh, any conference. That it, I mean, he's attending. You know, so what I want to say, I have said it, I have written, I have written to all the security agencies. Oh, you have written? I have written to major okay. embassies. I have written to the American embassy. I have written to the British embassy. I have written to the French embassy, German embassy. And I have warned that you cannot make the mistake. Uh, before, we, before we continue, According to the lawyer, <clears throat> he said he have written to uh, British embassy, German embassy, American embassy. The same American, um, um, the same America we are talking about have sent they they, they, they send their delegates on that inauguration day. <laughs> are you getting the point? Are you getting to? I, I hope you are getting what I'm saying. You 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 understand. The same America that this man wrote to are the people that they send their delegate the same day of inauguration of Tinubu as a president of Nigeria. You see, let us stop deceiving ourselves. Let us face reality. Let us stop, you know, doing things that we don't even understand. That is why you see upon all the whole lamentation from this lawyer, he didn't carry any water. He holds no water. Because Nigeria don't know what is law. There is no order in that contraption. That is why you see, they went to court. And judge is nowhere to be found. And that is how they will keep on moving. You know, the one they call a papa. That a large a papa. That came to, in the court last time, telling you people he is the one now. And they have a factions of Labor Party. You people don't know that these people have worked on the ground. They have paid off everybody. Paid the judge, paid the prosecutor, paid the defense, all of them. 20, 25 the 25% lawyer take off. Now you understand. Everybody have received their court. I mean their payment. Now you, you see, I don't know when black people will begin to learn. Uh, who is this one? Say, he say he, he, what, what are you writing? Nigeria is a damnable zoo. We don't block people. We are bigger than all this nonsense. You can write whatever you want to write. We will keep on telling you that Nigeria is a jungle. Mazen Nam, they cannot call a Nigeria zoo. There is a respect in a zoo. We are telling you it's a jungle. Because when you go to zoo, the, the people taking care of the animals, they respect them. In jungle, it says anything can happen. Exactly what is happening today in that contraption. The Fulanis from Nijeo, Mshad, Mali, we troop into that contraption and begin to maim and kill souls. And nobody to, 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 to take responsibility of what they are doing. Because our governors are under siege. They don't have boss or gods to stand on their own or have their own decision. That is why we're here. And we're not going to stop. Very soon we are going to enter into freedom fighting. 
<laughs> we never get there. We are still creating awareness. That is why you are seeing everybody here. Men's will go on the ground and begin to do the needful. That is why we need a radical people. Those people that they are hard, they are small. How did they put this thing? They say, OPA Beri, they are greedy. No, OPM and inquiry. No, on the actual. All the OPA actual here. OPA have the heart that have already been broken. That is the heart we need in this struggle. So that when you are looking, you don't you see nobody. Anybody that stands on your way, you see nobody. That is the heart that we need. A broken heart that have nkai de obundo. Now you understand what I'm saying. The lawyer take off. Nowhere to be found. And the man is there lamenting, yapping and talking all sort of rubbish. They are going to sue them. Sue who? You did not take Mazen Nam the Khan court case to learn. Instead of you people, I told you people, instead of these idiots that are roaming around and you see them speaking grammar, simile, and I saw simile, they want us to go to dictionary and begin to translate what is simile. They will go and borrow and paste instead of you to speak a language that your people will understand, you are beginning to blow a BB grammar that you want people to now to go to dictionary and begin to look the, 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 the definition. You are speaking to people, a, a, a black non-entities, a wicked species, that you are going to speak to them in a language they are going to understand. You are there telling us a minute. So you want me now to go to dictionary and begin to find the definition. That is why I told you people there is something wrong with our people. He is lamenting. Nowhere to be found. He says he's going to sue them. Now we are waiting. Obi will wait till 88 finish. Write it down. Let us continue. Let us finish it and go. Let us go to another place. Of a stolen and unconstitutional president in Nigeria. And I'm sorry. It will be unconstitutional president. That you resolve this question that we brought before the court. We are not All saying right. that the question must be resolved in, in our favor. We brought the question here to be resolved. We have a right okay. to have the question resolved. Like I always say, in, in hearing the court. belongs to me. Decision belongs to the court. Belongs to the court. You understand? So, but the judge is nowhere to be found. Mistake of installing somebody unconstitutionally. It's an overthrow of the Constitution. You are that lying. Person, now, if you read wow. section 1, subsection 2 of the Constitution, you see? it says, 99 Constitution no person, no persons shall be permitted to take control of the federal government or any part of it, take control of the federation or any part of it, except in accordance with the Constitution. That section invests every Nigerian with authority to resist okay. whoever is sworn in. Every Nigerian in every station of life, yes. wherever he is, to do what? That is to an order from the constitution to that person. To do what? To, that, to that receive the will kidnap you now. Unconstitutional. <laughs> okay. So okay. it must be that those who want to do this wearing in have conspired against yes. democracy. That's right. And want to overthrow it. Are you sure? Are you okay? Okay. The constitution says section 14. Subsection 2A, that's nah, let us uh, let us leave this. Let us leave this. I want to go to other things. We have heard it that uh, the judge ran away. I can't say that he ran away. Uh, I will just tell you people that he find the case of P to be obedient movement as something that is not relevant to them. That is why they ran away. They have forgotten that Atiku was uh, also in the Su Bugari to court for four years. Atiku was going to court, going to court, going to court until he, the dead Bugari, the man wearing masks, finished the tenor. We said that Nigeria died in 1963. That is when the rigging of elections started. Nigerian, when you are hearing that Nigerian died in 1963, is that is when the re rigging of that contraption started. And they have been rigging from 1963 up to date. Go and make your research. Go and make your research. You will understand what I'm saying. You know, we don't lie. We have gotten into that stage that 
we don't just come out here and begin to talk things that we don't know. You go and make your research. You understand that Nigeria died in 1963. Up to date, there is no, there is no how you can fix it. Nigeria is gone, and it will always remain gone. And Nigerian foundation was built on fraud. Let me take you also back, because some of you are daft in school. Some of you are bumbling morons. You don't even understand. You don't want to know your history and know who you are. Nigerian amalgamation expired in 2014. Do you know that? By regard, in 2014, Nigeria was expired. But you people don't know. Do you know why Nigeria expired in 2014? Because Nigeria was a mainstream business. Those people that concocted and amalgamated Nigerians together, they came for business. They did not uh, came for building a nation. No, it was a business. And when they were writing the contract, none of our forefathers was there. But there's a good thing about white people. We, we are, you know, we, that is why I'm telling you people, you see Europeans and America, that's also a good thing about them. When they were doing all these things, they make a written note. This day of the, this day and date, this thing that we are amalgamated together, we aspire. The business that we come together to fix, we aspire. Have you ever seen a country that ever aspired? Country never aspired. It's because it's a mainstream business. It was a Naya Royal, Royal Niger company. That is what aspired. And do you know that they so also that Nigeria? <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh. Followers of Mazen Namdekano. And the historical fact. <laughs> we follow the fact. Historical fact. There is no truth. That is why I'm telling you, go and make your own research. Everything that I'm saying here is a gospel. There is no two ways about it. Because we have gone on the ground to make also our own research, to understand why Nigeria cannot be fixed. But some of you are there roaming around, saying that, eh, of course, we are going to well. Let me bring you another one, subsidy. <laughs> we are now in subsidy. Uh, Tinubu will remove subsidy. And I'm going to bring you people a video of during the time of Jonathan. And I'm going to explain to you people the reason why Jonathan did not succeed in subsidy. But now, Tinubu will succeed. Uh, before I will go further, I want you to see all these man of dogs here. Let me show you this man of dogs. Where is all these people? Just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All these people now, you can't see them speaking. You know? <laughs> see them here. You will see them here. Criminals in the ocean. Criminals. Looters. Deceivers, as you see all of them here. Man of dogs. A propagandist. All of them, as you see, they are, they are wicked. They are wicked species. See all of them. You call man of you, man of dog. Those people that are next to 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 to, to your God. Meshuko Kikabiama bless the souls of our ancestors, those that died for us to be here. Before I will double into this uh, subsidy, let me also use this medium to thank the great people of Biafra. The resolute in our people is too much. The resoluteness in our people, there is no measure. We are formidable indeed. We have done it again in 2023. By remembering the heroes and heroing those that died for us to be here. Kudos to DOS. You people are wise. You are so wise indeed. You are, you know, silent giant. Believe you me, there is no two ways about it. And we will keep on praying for you. Are you doubting it? You hear. You see the land of Biafra was totally locked and keys. We, our ancestors, they have begun to rest. Small, small. Till we restore Biafra and beyond. That is when all their souls will rest in peace. But they are resting small, small now. Some of them are happy now. 
they will tell you we have destroyed IPOB. Mm. They will tell you they have uh, factions of IPOB. They will tell you, oh, of course, they, they did, they tried their best, but their best is failure. They failed woefully, all of them from the beginning. That is why they gathered and brought our leader from Kenya. Go and kidnap an innocent man that's supposed to be speaking for them today. A mad piece of beer from people, a mad piece, a man that is fighting for the whole freedom of black race, both those of them in America. If you fix Biafra, we will tell them, come back to your home. I will show you people, American in 1972, you will see that black Americans know where they came from. Let me show you this before I double into uh, into issue of uh, what they call it. But don't forget, these people are a man of dogs. They are idiotic morons. They are looters. All of them here, you see them, they have their own private jet. Why the common people in that contraption can't even see food to eat? But they are telling you to pay your tithe. At the same time, water it. <laughs> they will give you sticker. Why the one they called Johnson Suleiman, a Muslim that turned to Christian, is running around like a Ramajiri with a bulletproof, but he's there giving you sticker. He had forgotten that he placed he had on Russia, on Ukraine. They are still dealing with them today. Idiot. That is how they lie and deceive you people. Nobody have come to his congregation and asked him, Oga, but you told us that this uh, fight in Ukraine will just stop in two days. <laughs> Hi, oh, Africa, you people are gonna. Uh, let me bring you the the what I'm trying to show, what I want to show you people, so you will see. Let me bring it. I hope I have it here. No, I think I let me go here. You see, Americans in 1962. Wait, Americans. Amer black Americans in 1962. Yes. Yes. Now, see, I want you to see this. For you to know, are you seeing the flag here? You see the flag. You are going to see the flag very, very well. And you are going to hear some voice. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is 1972, after the genocidal war that Nigeria committed against great people of Biafra. Not only Nigeria, we fought the world. Because even though when our general, Dim, uh, people general, Dim of the said that we are, we are ready, he know what he's saying. Because he never thought that the world will come and join that contraption. Like we see, we see, we discover a lot of bombing, a lot of bombs that are made by British people. We saw the Egypt people flying the aircraft for them. And by that time, we have already left our land. Because, you see, that is why we are saying the kind of things that we are going to call, you know, the kind of confrontation that we are going to give these people. Not in our land. But the Irima is inviting them to come to our land. There is no war you fight in your land that you are going to win. You are, they are going to destroy a lot of things. You are going to confront them. Go and meet them. Play ground. One on one. Don't let them come to your land. But Berima is there. Telling the zoo we have bought worship. We have bought fighter jet. Inviting them to come to the land of Biafra. And you are telling me you are going to win the war. <laughs> Let us be sincere. You know, some of them, he might say, daft. He's an illiterate. He knows nothing. I'm starting to tell you people. If that's what I'm saying, we should begin to bring our qualification. Of course, I did not finish my university in that contraption. But here in Germany, I have went to school. I have my profession. With a, with a qualification and certificate. For over six years, I went to school here to be able to understand my, my right in this, country, in this country called Germany. But the Benima is nobody. He knows nothing. He went to know. He did not. He, don't, he knows nothing. That is why he will keep on yapping and talking all sort of rubbish from his mouth. 
He told you people he's a lawyer. Now the peace, uh, honorable or whatever nonsense they gave to him. Now they are not putting lawyer into it. They are now putting it mister. No more doctor or lawyer or barrister. Now you understand that the guy is nothing. Nothing. And they never put ex or reserve military. They are not because they have already confessed. Some of you are still there. Don't want to wonder. Let me show you people, Americans in 19... 72. This is Biafran flag. You see it. You see Biafran flag. American in 72. You will listen to them. For you to know. When the jury was sent out, yes. they talked for 40 minutes, came back, and acquitted all the defendants. It was a powerful example how an individual could challenge those in power and win. You see it, just a short video. You see the flag there. Let me repeat it so that you will not say that we, we concoct it. You see the flag. You will see the flag how it's flying. In America, 72. You see the flag there. Let me stop it. You see the flag in the midst of them. Are you doubting if that is a Biafran flag? You don't see the one at my back here. See another one, see the one at my back. Are they not the same? That to show you that these people know where they are from. And we are fighting for black race. We are fighting for them to come back. Because even though where they are, they are nobody. You see? But you won't understand. Now, <clears throat> like I said <clears throat> about the uh, subsidy you remember you know some of you don't know history but we always dig deeply to be able to bring it out so that you will see and believe so that we are not going to say we are here for propaganda or fabricating or concocting stories no we are facing reality. You see? If you understand, you understand. That is why I am different. I have gotten to that stage that I don't need to be talking too much. I will show you. So that you won't say that his Biafran child is just there. Saying things that he don't know. Things that he thought. We are not here for thought. We are here for evidence. You see? Black idiots. Wicked species. That is why we are in a mess that we are. Fulani, a foreigners are ruling you. All these bumbling morons, all these idiotic pastors, uh, man of dogs that I show you people today, that all of them have private jet. They were supporting no subsidy of Jonathan. Today, all of them, their mouth is closed. Aga gone of aga. They can't say anything. Because you know why? It's going to favor them. Jonathan wanted to stop subsidy so that we can be able to at least set up some refineries in the old eastern region of Biafra. The seaport they were using, <clears throat> I mean the refineries they were using before, mostly in coastal region, so that it will start functioning again. And the Zoo Nigeria and the Fulanese, the Yoruba included, they understood that if Jonathan opened this, is going to create a lot of jobs for the people of Biafra. Mostly the coastal region of Biafra, our brothers. They are going to have more than 10,000 workers. As they are doing the work, we are going to have some caterers, people that are going to be cooking, people that are going to open stores around there, so that this is how job opportunity have been created. As they are working in a factory of refinery, then we have people that have shops around them selling some things to them, selling foods. That is why I'm telling you in, I mean, when you bring all of them together, we may have more than 15,000 workers. Some will be self-employed. Some will now be working in the refineries. They said no, that if you remove subsidy, uh, there is no ibido, nah, bye, today. The Ondo Seaport and the airport and Dangote refineries, 
they are now about to open it. And when they opened this subsidy now, they took it away. Everything will go to Dangote. And the, every refineries will be in, North, in Yoruba land or northern part of Nigeria. Now they are going to create job opportunity for these people. And you have forgotten that this oil is coming from our land. We have said it. It's going to shock a lot of our people from coastal region of Biafra. When Biafra will come, you will begin to understand that this oil you are saying is my oil, is my oil, is my oil. You will understand that even though it's not, the oil is not coming from coastal region of Biafra. I have said this in time without number. You know, during the time of colonial people, they were extorting from us. And you know, when they came, what was trending by then is uh, pan canal, pan oil. It was the major resources. And they have looked how are we going to be extorting this from our people. They find out there is a river. And a well big river they can be able to begin to store from our people from coastal region. Now they went there and put the base. Because it's going to be very easy for them to push their goals to their place. After the pan canal died, all years of face, they also used the same route. The easiest route for them is coastal region. Because coastal region is full of water, which is also good for us. That is also where God bless us in that part of Biafra land. We can be able to export and import. Now they channel their energy also in coastal region, begin now to lay pipe to every place in Biafra land. They are laying pipe, milking the crude oil from every part of Biafra land, now bringing it to their main station in coastal region of Biafra, where they have already anchored their ship to be taken off from there. But our people don't want to understand that we are all one people. In the whole land of Biafra, including Benue, there is oil in the whole land of Biafra. They are sucking our oil in Imo State today, our mama. They are sucking our oil in Anambra. But you think that the only oil is coming from the coastal region. I'm not saying that coastal region we have oil in every land in Biafra land. There's oil everywhere. But the one they are sucking now is from Imo State, our mama, and Anambra, and Abia State. They are sucking it so high because they want to dry it. Because they are thinking that uh, these people are going to go with the uh, five states. Let us suck it if we can be able to finish it. But they don't know that what God has put in as a resources to bless his own people. The real descendant from Juko Kikabiyama can never dry. Now you understand. Gospel. Gospel. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you remain blind. You see, so uh, let me show you people the subsidy. Like I said, now the subsidy is going to benefit the Yoruba people. And the Biafran people will remain in poverty. Some of our brothers from coastal region, they are now claiming that the oil is their own. They will remain poor. They will keep on polluting our water. Our fishes will keep on dying. Why other people are using your resources, our resources, to create a job for their own people, to better their lives, to create infrastructure in their land, but instead of us to come together and be able to fight for our goal, common goal, to restore our dignity, the kingdom of Chuko Kikabi among this earth, so that the humanity can stand. None of us want to learn. Now you understand. Now they are taking it away. And very soon, all of us will keep on trooping to that place, Ogun State and the rest of them. After 10 years, you will begin to build. You will begin to build your mansions, your, 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 your businesses, your factories, your companies. After 10 years, they will tell you, it not belongs to you. Do you understand? K 
Can you learn from your mistakes? Can you just learn from your mistakes so that it won't repeat itself again? Because we IPOB have learned. That is why Mazin Namikano is still in DSS dungeon. Because of me and you. He can compromise. He can also be part of the Kaaba. I see one idiot telling them that Mazin Namikano, they should bring him out and give him a Senate president. Mazin Namikano is a full of wisdom. But Mazin Namikano have decided that Biafra is what we want. And the whole land of Biafra, we are going to get it. Because it's going to be a sin. We have already sinned against Chukwokikabia Mapuri Mihenine. That is why we are suffering today. According to your Bible, they will sell you to your enemies you don't know before. <laughs> you know, Bible reference. You see what is happening to you people. Your own resources, they are using it on top of your head. If you talk, they will slap you. If you talk too much, they will come and kidnap you and put you in prison. You will begin now to beg. Now you understand. That is why they went to kidnap Mazen Namdekan, for him to beg or compromise. But they don't know that the man we have or the man that is standing in the gap is not ready to compromise or to abandon Biafran Restoration Project. You see, we have come and we are not going to stop. Like I said, we will keep on preaching the gospel, creating awareness, media campaign to get our freedom at the same time to free Mazin Namdekan. Then we will go into the real freedom fight. All of you people, we are keeping the record. We are keeping the record. Don't think that we are just coming here to joke. Don't think that we are coming here only to just blabbing or yapping. That is what you are going to call it. You have forgotten the colors misgrant. Why the zoo is there spending almost 620 something billion pounds to stop IPOB. But at the end, we have no resources like them. We only just stand on the truth and always face the reality. That is why we are working well today. Because if he gave word, Obushiana Churiji. And when I'm saying Ashiana Churiji, we are not waiting for any superstitious, thinking that somebody somewhere is going to give you Biafra. It's a lie. We are calling Chukwu Kikabiyama is for us to have our own God. We don't have to believe in anybody's God. That is why we are calling Chukwu Kikabiyama. When we restore Biafra, and when all of us will believe in this religion called Biafra, we are going to tell our people how our religion will going to run. Because our religion will run in, you know, in a form that everybody has to be conscious. And we are going to be pushing, not to fold your hands and somebody going to happen, no. What is happening today in Ukraine and uh, Russia? It was not God coming from heaven. And things is going to happen very soon. You know, I did a video about my Macron. Let me put in so that issue before I will still bring the video of subsidy during the Jonathan because we keep the record. I did a video about Macron. Last time the video also went viral. We know how to make it go viral because we know how to put things in order. We know how to fill the gaps so that you will understand every word that are coming out from our mouth. The media worries the standing media warriors. Those can never deviate. Those that have chosen their path. Those that have known that Biafra is our religion. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. Biafra must come in our time. And we believe our leader Mazen Namdekan. I spoke about Macron pleading to Africa what their ancestors did to our people. You know, when I was saying that, I was saying that in a sense that just to educate our people. But that is not all. That is not all. These people are saying all these things to also buy our mind back. Because what Russians and Chinas are planning for Africa 
is going to affect them. It's going to affect them seriously. Things are is about to happen. Things is about to happen. According to the way Russian is going, they want people to be free. You see all these things that you are saying, you are what power, you are what power. We are all human. You can't have a man destruction and you tell these people not to have it. If you don't want other people to have man destruction, then you destroy everything so that nobody will have it. Don't use it to be threatening other people that you have this. When something happens, you will send your people there. They will go and destroy a land. Libya is gone today. Have you people forgotten who those people make Libya to be gone? Ra uh, Iraq. Where is Iraq today? Iraq is gone. People that they are living on their own, you left your land, you went there, you destroyed them. Because you have what it takes to destroy them. And you don't want them to have it. Whenever they speak, you bring their own. That is why they did to our, what they did to our people in Biafra. They see that we are powerful. They send them to come and destroy us. That is the, what Russia is trying to push this time around so that everyone can have their own privacy. That is why you see Macron begin to castigate their ancestors. My question to Macron today is that are they still printing money for some African for Francophone people? Are they not still printing money for them? Are they Francophones? Are they not still paying tax to them? <laughs> Ask yourself this question. After spoken, saying all manners of things, have they stopped giving them how to spend their money, how to live? Have they stopped printing money for them? Have they, the Francophones, have they stopped paying tax to these people? Have they stopped it? The answer is no. They keep on extorting them. You know, we are wicked species. Black people are wicked. They will now say that now the French president have come to apologize. Now let us move on. They are using your brain. Don't, you know, there is something about me. That is why I'm trying to tell you people. I'm very, very special. And the way, the, the way I always put my analysis, you will understand it. I push it for the first time with a short video to let our people understand what these people have done to our people by stolen our religion by killing our ancestors, by taking away things from our land and put us in poverty, now I have turned the clock again, telling you they want to buy your minds. They want you to remain with them. They want you not to listen to people that are coming to rebrate you. They are not want you to listen to those that want to give you that mind for you to have your own secrecy and your own privacy. Not to begin to tell you we are mapping out this money for you. You have to be returning tax to us. Every Monday you carry money, go and give Canterbury. Every Sunday you are sending money to Rome. Are they, is Catholic not still sending money to Rome today in Africa? In that contraption? Ask yourself that question. Upon all these things that Macron said, why can't he say, from today upward, Africa you are on your own. Go and carve out your money let us go to Central Bank and let us resolve all these problems and make sure you now begin to make your own money with the quota they will give to you through the Central Bank of the world. We are not going to double into your finance anymore. All these taxes you are paying to us to return taxes you are paying every year is going to stop. All this extortion we are making for you people, you people are going to build your economy now. Why can't he say all this? Is? No, he will not say it. Now he's bringing his ancestors that have already stolen. But today, they are still living with African, Africans, their resources. Now you understand. I just want you people to know, because when I made that video, people were thinking that this man has said things that nobody wants to say. Is he more than what Donald Trump said? He said, Africa is a shithole. A lot of people came out and began to tackle him. But what he said, he's correct. Africa is a shithole. And when they called him to, you know, explain in more details why you say so, he said, because Trump is a businessman, he have made money. He said, some Africans will come to us in America begging for fund, begging for relief, 
that they are dying, that this happened. But Trump told them, I have my friends in Africa, in that contraption, under one year they have become a billionaire in that contraption. So how come all those my friends that just stepped their foot in Nigeria within one year become a billionaire? How do you come now, if you are coming to America to ask for fun, to ask for relief? Why my friends are making billions? That means that you people are shit hole. You can't even on the, This man is opening your eyes that you should stand on your own. Don't let these people come to your land and begin to deceive you. The same thing, Putin also, after Trump, dropped his own bomb. Putin come back again and drop his own. That Africa is a graveyard. All the whole African representatives, the, 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 all of them, the Iraqs, they jump up. They carry the man on top. Say, why should you say that Africa is a, 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 a what do you call it, a, a graveyard? The man also came out for more clarification. He said, African people, their representatives, they will be stolen from their land, coming to Europe to buy mansions, going to Asia to buy mansions, traveling here and there from Australia to America, from America to New Zealand, from New Zealand to Russia, to Switzerland, to every part of Europe, to Dubai, to Qatar, to buy mansions. Do you know, living a very large life, they don't want to build their country. But whenever they die, before they will die, when they will sick on their sick bed, or before they will, in their will, they will write, whenever I die, make sure you send me to my land, Africa. Make sure you take my corpse to Africa. When the Putin explained that, do you now understand what the man said? Why Africa is a graveyard? You stole from your people. You carry the wealth to Europe, to America, to Asia. Buying houses instead of you to develop your land. No. Instead of you to travel from, from uh, Imo State to Anambra for your vacation. No. You go to Dubai. Now when you die in Dubai now, you have make it compulsory. You have make it, you know, you have already stamped that. They must take your corpse back to Africa. Can't you see that Africa is a graveyard? I hope you understand the explanation. We don't lie. All these things that all these presidents said, there's no lie about it. But the problem is, the world wants them to use political correctness. The world wants them to use political correctness. The African nonentities, the intellectuals in Africa want them to use political correctness. But the people are telling you reality. That is why you see we IPOB, we don't believe in political correctness. We face reality. That is why we tell you things the way it is. Without any missing words. Now you understand. Now let us go to, what they call it? Let us go to, let us go to, um, um, what they call it? What they call this thing? Um, um, what this thing is. Where is this video now? Um, just one minute. Um, yeah, I have it. Uh, this is a, uh, let me read a little bit the article. What goes around comes around. This is the game Yorubas are playing with Nigeria. Falana is still and alive. Ener ener energetic. Okay, Falani is still energetic and alive. Kuti is still energetic and alive. Tunde Bakari is still alive and energetic. We are waiting and watching them closely. All these people that I said, they are so-called prominent men like Tunde Bakari. You people know him now. The one that drive it. That one have almost, um, how many? Almost four private jets. Why he's still stolen from his congregation. He built a hospital, uh, a school, even though his congregation cannot afford it. He's going to Abuja. He carry his second private jet. If you tell him, he will tell you that uh, uh, I want my ministry to be, I want to get there quick. 
<laughs> ministry of doom. Let us see what uh, Bakari has said. In, during the time of Jonathan, they said that it's nothing like subsidy. We are not going to agree on subsidy. If you remove subsidy, Nigeria is going to do this. Some of you that are doing subsidy, you are a criminal, you are that. Today, now, Tinubu have bring us subsidy. Who speak? Nobody speaks. Tunde Bakali now is mute. Fala Nana is not speaking. Of course, I've forgotten his name. When Jonathan removed fuel subsidy, fuel went up from 65 to 200. 9th January 2012. Now you understand. There was Ojota protest. Ojota in Lagos. A mega one, oh, a very mega one. You are going to see it now. Tunde Bakari. It's not speaking now. Because you know why? He favors them. He favors them. You know um, what they call it? This uh, Dangote. You know, Dangote, some people think that the wealth of Dangote belongs only to Dangote. No. You know, a lot of Nigerians have stolen and they invested on Dangote. All this refinery that you are seeing Dangote is building, not, mo not his money, because only Dangote in that contraption can be able to prove his money because he's into business. A lot of them that have stolen money, they cannot defend their money. So they are putting their money into Dangote's business. Dangote is a PLC. They are half shareholders. So they are putting their money. That is why I told you they have already mapped out one billion to build, I think, uh, is in Ogo State or I think Ogo, or Ondo State Airport. All this thing is something that's going to create job for them. And Dangote will shift his uh, part of his business there. That is why they are doing all these things. None of them are speaking now. They are all mute. Now let us see the protest in Ojota. Ojota protest. Ojota in Lagos. 2012. 9th of January 2012. We have the proof. Oh, yeah, pay attention. They have already shared it before collecting it. Okay. They say for over 400 billion will go to Jonathan's government. Okay. Over 400 billion will go to state government. All right. Over 200 billion will go to local government. Propaganda. They have already spent the money before they earn it. Propaganda. They are just fooling Kolade to come and supervise an empty collection. Okay. No force on earth can stop this revolution. Okay. The fact that I am here today with my children, with all these wonderful Nigerians, send the message to Abuja and yeah. wherever they are. Which is Jonathan. That the struggle for which we have been planning and working all these years have now taken off. Okay. okay. After okay. the central bank, Salisi, okay. came to Lagos and said, if you don't remove fuel subsidy, Nigeria will collapse. This country is not going to collapse. Okay. When my father was fighting, yes, my I father. was 13 years old. And now? I am 50 in six months. Yes. My son is 16. Okay. We still have no electricity. All right. We still have no health care. Okay. People are poor. People are dying because of 10,000 naira in this country. And people are stealing the greatest Nigerians. For several hours, no. the speeches went on. For several hours. Is government of the people. For the, the people, people, by the, the people. people. Who are the people of Nigeria? Hey. If we have democracy, you must listen to the voice of the people. Are you listening? The government of our country has decided to impoverish us. We have decided to say no. The pop price of petroleum must revert to 65 naira. Not too long. And if anyone was thinking this was just a one off, the protesters had this to say about that. By tomorrow, by mm -hmm. when everybody's coming out, please come, do come with your mats. Ma. Come with your mats, come with your food. Yes. We shall sleep on the streets. Okay. Yes. If the 
stay faithful to those words. The fact here, less than 24 hours from now. All right. You see it. Jonathan, the pure water. If you are coming on 9th of June, that was 2012, come with your mouth, come with your food. We are going to occupy the whole streets in Lagos. All this thing is happening in Lagos, in Ojota. And they succeeded, though. There is no subsidy removed. They succeeded. And when the man called Bugari entered in 2015 and died in 2017, January, none of them, none of them speaks. They are all mute because they are cowardice. They are all fools. Wicked species. They only have mouth when it comes to beer from people. And our brother Jonathan, I said it. I don't know how to put it. I don't want to, you know, so, I mean, speak a vocal about him. But our brother Jonathan is a useless man. It's not an abuse. It's useless. You know the reason why Jonathan left office? He's not a tyrant. He don't want to occupy the space. But that is why you have to stand. Always stand. You don't have to shake. You have to bring also that Obia Hebwari Regwari. No Obia Hebwari Sorry, see, which is a broken heart. You have to apply it. Every one of us has a blood in our vein. Nobody will live on this earth forever. You stand. We told Jonathan, go to Enugu and stand by. Tell them if you don't give me my mandate, I will declare Biafra. Jonathan, when they are telling you that uh, I, I am a noble man, after then they bring a, a peaceful, noble, peaceful, I don't know how they pull it, the ambassador of peace to Jonathan because he's there building almost 600 Schools for Alamajiri. Building infrastructure for building their road. A useless. That is useless. Is the time of Jonathan, all of them gathered. In the time of this dead Bugari now, do you know there's a time that Euro went to, I think almost 1,000 Euro, 1,000 Naira. None of them protest. Tunde Bakari is there. Now you understand. He will go to his congregation and tell them, God will do it. God will change it. Now you understand. Tinubu now is telling he's going to remove fuel subsidy. None of them have gathered. None of them. No, none of them because you know why? It's going to benefit them. They are going to be a job opportunity in Yoruba land and Fulani land. That is why they will never talk about it. Because when they remove sub, uh, fuel subsidy, the refineries that Dangote is building is going to be functioning. And now it's going to create a job for them. By the time now, the, the Biafran people will keep on trooping to their land. After 10 years, they will begin to tackle you. And you will remain a fifth or tenth citizen. Because you are not going to get to that level that you think that you are going to get. Remember what Amadou Bello said. The middle bet is going to be we are going to, you know, they will be the conquer territory. And the south, we are going to use them. They can never make a decision or use their resources. That is exactly what is happening. They have piped your life, they have piped your oil on the white piping from here to Nijeo. So you don't know. This is the reason why, believe you me, I'm saying the subsidy will stand. And nothing anyone of you can do about it. All these people you see that I have spoken in 9th of June 2012, you can't see them. Great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world, I thank you all for being here today. Uh, this is what I have for you people. I'm going to continue without stopping because we have chosen our part. I still remain your royal servant. Mazo Kim Naokechu. under the leadership of Mazin Namkan. Mazin Namkan remains the prisoner of conscience. I greet you, every one of you that are here. Afam, Ebo, 
you are welcome. Maria Koka, you are welcome. Kingsley Shijoke, you are welcome. This is the people that I just saw on my computer now. I don't want to open my phone. And I will say from me, from here, it is good afternoon till we see.